Hi everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Welcome back to another Dolls Kill Haul. This time we're looking at a Valentine's Day collection. So Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Now if you're international, if you're not in the States, I don't know how you'd go with ordering these clothes in time for Valentine's Day, but these clothes aren't Valentine's Day exclusive. They did launch as part of the Dolls Kill Valentine's Day collection, but you could wear them any time of the year. Dolls Kill, they have a lot of influencers that they send free clothes to. They'd sent out this collection to a bunch of them and I'd been seeing it all over my feed and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. And then they emailed me, so I was really, really excited. They let me choose whichever items that I wanted off the Valentine's Day page. There was so much stuff. Some of it was a little bit not quite my channel, but the things that I did pick really, really suit the theme of, you know, my, my pastel wonderland here. I'm really, really excited to put these things on. I've worn two of them. I took this picture on Instagram, spoiler alert, yeah, so let's have a look at that outfit first. That's the only one that I wore because that was the one that I was the most excited for and when I pulled them out of the box I was like, I need to try it, I need to try it now! Now this outfit had a little bit of a mixed reaction on Instagram. People liked it and people hated it. Most of the problems seemed to stem from the pants. Now the pants are very unusual. Uh, I have not worn the pants in public, I have worn the top. Haven't worn the pants though because, well, uh, this comment kind of highlights it perfectly. It does look a little bit like a diaper. So the pants are really, really long. They're very heavy. There's a lot of fabric going on here, particularly in the bottom where the flared part is. It's very, very heavy. The top is angelic, literally angelic. It's, it's beautiful. Really, really cute, very pretty cut, and I really like the frilly sleeves. So let's... Let's put this one on and have a look. Okay, so here it is. Now I am wearing, as you might be able to see, I'm wearing black undies under this. So I feel like if you wanted to wear these pants out in public, you're probably going to have to wear some sort of G-string thong kind of thing because they this part here, it does show regular undies through it. But the top, like I said, the top is so sweet. This is a $22 top and I think it's worth every cent. I think it's so adorable, it's so romantic. Also this little bow here is really cute too. The length of it, as you can see, it stops just there. So you are showing a lot of your waist area. The pants, well, you know, you saw the criticism on Instagram. It's either like, is it supposed to be so sheer? Does she know it looks like that? What's wrong with those pants? They are extremely extra. I'll put on some different undies underneath, have a little walk around so you can see exactly what they look like from the back because I know you can't really see the length of them or anything here. But just to give you an idea, look at that flare. That, look at that. Ugh, that's, I feel like there's enough material just in that flare alone to make an item of clothing. <laughs> to complete this outfit, there is a backpack. So this is what they paired the backpack with on the website. They paired it with this top and the pants. This backpack is quite heavy. I don't know how practical it is, you know, going around with these wings. I have seen bags like this in Japan. It's, this is a very popular style, particularly in Harajuku. There's a decent amount of room in there. You could probably put Archie in there. Definitely enough room for glasses, wallet, phone, purse, whatever you want to put. The wings, are they detachable? I think they might be. Uh, yeah, they are. So basically they detach like that and then you can use the lace here to attach them. Now, I don't think I'm ever gonna take them off, to be honest. I, I feel like I wouldn't wear it without them. This is one of those bags, it's very impractical. I, I will wear it, I swear I will wear it, but I just feel like it's, this could be another one that's very fun to wear to a party or something like that. Or, you know, if you're extra, you can just wear it anywhere that you want. But let's have a look at it on. Look, Archie, now I have wings too. This backpack is $48, I believe, so it's a little bit expensive, but I do really like that from the front you can just see the wings kind of like poking out. You know what, actually now that I'm wearing it and I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I don't think it's too over the top. Like holding it up, I was like, yeah, this is very, very over the top, I'm never going to wear it. But it's actually, it's not too intrusive, it's not, I thought that it'd be the sort of thing I would put it on and be like, oh, this is, this is too much, this is too attention grabbing, but it actually doesn't look bad at all. How sweet! Oh, I love it! This outfit's really, really cute. It's very slightly iridescent as well. It's got kind of like iridescent glitter in there. If I swapped out the pants for something a little bit more public appropriate, I feel like this is an outfit that I would definitely get a lot of wear out of. 
I do feel very self-conscious wearing this because it's showing a lot, you know, like your legs are on display, it looks like you're basically just wearing blue undies for everyone to see. There's a lot of the midriff going on, so this one is, you know, a little bit too over the top for me. I feel like I could wear this to a party. I don't know if I could wear this out in public, although there is a video I've been wanting to do for a little while. I want to go around and wear crazy clothes from Dolls Kill for a week. And I feel like this could be one of those outfits, you know, to wear this one in public, get some footage out and about, people would stare. You can more confidently wear something like this at the beach, but I feel like if you just went to the mall to go shopping or something, people would be like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so this next outfit is a little tiny t-shirt that is kind of... Look, I, I don't want to get... I don't know what... I don't want to upset anyone, but it's 69% angel. We'll just leave it at that. And also there's this cute little skirt, which is uh, a cloud print skirt, and it's got a zip at the back. I thought it was a wraparound skirt, but it's not. It's a, it's a just normal skirt. And then it's got this little sort of tie on the side here. Oh, it is, hang on, or is it a wraparound skirt? Hang on, I'm confused, wait. No. Oh, the flap is a lie. It's, it's literally just a decorative flap. So there is a zip that you do it up with at the back. So they paired these two together on the website, so I'm gonna give this a try. I'm not particularly blown away by the skirt. The material is very, very crinkly, and I feel like you, you either have to iron it or you're, you're gonna look a little tiny bit messy. And also the fit is a little bit weird. I had hoped that by doing this up a little bit tighter that would cinch in the waist a little bit more, but it doesn't. The tying on the side doesn't influence the sizing at all because like I said, the flap is a lie. I do like the color a lot though, this really sweet pink and the pink does perfectly match the pink on the sleeves of this little shirt. The shirt is again, like a baby crop tee. I'm not one to wear bold statements on my clothes, so I don't know if I'll get that much wear out of this shirt. I feel like the shirt might just end up being like a, a pajama kind of shirt for me. <laughs> on the website they paired this one with these heels and some white socks and a little hat. So I'm gonna give that a try, go take a walk around. The skirt is $35, which I think is a lot for something that's made of this sort of fabric. The fabric is so thin, very crinkly and very sheer. So I don't think that it's worth the $35. The top is 25 and $25 does seem like an average sort of price for Dolls Kill. So if you're interested in anything that is 69% anything, then maybe you might like this one. I'm really excited about this next outfit. This is a wraparound top and a pink skirt. The top is made of this really soft fabric. It's so lovely to touch. I don't know how to describe this fabric, but it's the type that kind of has these little, what would you call this, like flaky bits? I'm not sure, but it's very, very soft. And the skirt, well, The skirt is very sweet as well. It has these love heart buckles here. It's very heavy. The buckles are very, very heavy. So let's give this one a try with that top. Okay, so remember what I was just saying about that cloud print skirt, how I said the length was fine, but the fit around the waist was off? Well, this one is the complete opposite. Fits well around the waist, very, very comfortably, but it is so short, like so, so short, I don't think that I could wear this one in public unless I had some leggings or something on underneath it. The top is very, very soft, as Archie has immediately noticed. It's very comfortable to wear, but it's also very warm. Uh, I need to go put the air conditioning on in here because I'm, I've had this top on for literally two seconds. Like I just put it on and I'm already sweating. This is a very warm top. It has these lovely flared sleeves like this. I think the top's amazing. I really like how it wraps around. The wrap part for the top the string is so long, you can wrap it around your body multiple times. The skirt... I just... I don't know, skirts on Dolls Kill, I just can't win. I guess it's different for everyone's body shapes and sizes, but for my body shape, I can never find a skirt that's perfect on Dolls Kill. They look great for Instagram, but that's, that's it. I, they're not practical at all. I will go out and show you. I'm gonna go take a walk around so you can see just how short this is. It is a lovely outfit. $35 for the skirt, $38 for the top. I would definitely pay $38 for this top if I saw this in a store, I love it. It's so soft. If I actually saw it and tried it on, I'd be like, yeah, that's sick, I'm gonna buy it. 
The skirt, if I tried this on, I'd be like, no way. I wouldn't pay $35 for something that isn't gonna fit me properly. Also, I'm not the biggest fan of skirts that have a slit in, in the side here like this. I personally don't like it, so. <laughs> okay, while I have this skirt on, I'm gonna show you the next top. This is uh, literally a dream for me, an absolute dream. Now, if you saw one of my earlier Dolls Kill videos, I've talked about this top over here. I bought this on Depop because I'd seen it on Dolls Kill before I was on YouTube and I wasn't doing haul videos or anything like that. I only ever bought secondhand clothes from thrift stores. And I used to see the prices on Dolls Kill and I could never justify spending that much money. And I slept on it, never ended up buying it. It sold out. And then I spent two years looking for it on Depop and I finally got it. And now, now that I'm working with Dolls Kill, they ended up sending me this one. They're exactly the same style, same cut, same length. Uh, the only difference is that this one has little holes in the sleeves. They're like, um, what do they call them? Poor sleeves? Glove? Poor, poor, I, I don't know. But yeah, it's got little holes in the sleeves for your thumbs. And I had really, really hoped that this one would too, but it doesn't. But anyway, the colors, of this one are so much more me than the colors of this one. I still wear this one a lot, but this one, oh, it's amazing. Okay, this is my kind of outfit. I love long sleeves that come down past your hands. I just, oh, there's something so comforting about sleeves like this. I don't know, I just, I feel very comforted when I have long sleeves. So I do love that. The colors are perfect. This is, oh, it's amazing. The only issue with it is, that if I lift up my hands like that, you can see my bra. Like, you are you are looking at my bra right now. You can see it quite clearly. So that is that is a bit of an issue, it's so short. So you do kind of have to just keep pulling it down like that. But aside from that, this is, in my opinion, a perfect flawless top. It's $45, I believe, and I think it's worth every cent. Although, perhaps wait until, oh, see, I was gonna say wait until it goes on sale. Because 40 something dollars, I feel like anything over 30 is a lot to spend on a piece of clothing. So 40 something dollars, I do think it's a lot. I can recommend it to you because you would be very, very happy if you owned this top and you like pastel colors and you like long sleeves and all that yada yada. But maybe wait until it goes on sale. But like I said, with that other top, I waited a very long time and it sold out and it never ever came back to the website again. So if you really want it, go for it. You know, you, FOMO, fear of missing out kind of thing. I guess buy it on FOMO reasons. Otherwise, if this went on sale, then snap it up. Like, absolutely snap it up. If this was like 10 or 20% off or something, just go for it. It's amazing and I adore it. Next up is this dress. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this is supposed to be a nighty or if you're meant to wear this out in public. I feel like on Dolls Kill, there's a very fine line between the two. I feel like there's a lot of clothes on Dolls Kill that people would only ever wear as nightwear, but then Dolls Kill baddie Instagram girls would wear them out in public. You know, like Internet Girl and these others, they wear this sort of stuff in public. So I guess it just depends on your personal style. I definitely look at this and think that this is more of a nightgown, particularly because it's made of this silky material, really soft, silky material. It definitely feels like bed wear, but at the same time, it does depend what you dress it up with, what you wear it with. That makes all the difference for whether or not you could wear it in public or not. I mean, you can wear whatever you want in public, but for me, I think I'm gonna have to kind of work with this one and style it a little bit, and then I'll go outside and show you what it looks like with the full outfit. But for now, let's just pop it on so you can see. Okay, so on the site, this is called a slip dress. So I don't know, does that mean it's more intended to be worn underneath things or as a nightgown or something? I'm not sure. But this is what it looks like. I, I feel like in summer in Australia, I could possibly get away with wearing this one out in public. Might have to sort of style it up with heels and a bag and stuff like that to make it look less like nightwear. But it is a very sweet dress. I really like how it cinches in at the waist. It's $28. So $28 to me, if it was meant to be a regular dress, I feel like it would be way more expensive because this is Dolls Kill we're talking about. So the $28 mark does make me think it's it's really more of a nighty. But anyway, the length of it is, yeah, it's, it's, it's very short, very short. But it's not so short that I, I couldn't wear it in public. I think I could get away with it, possibly. I really like the shape of this. I think it's very nice. $28, it's a very sweet design, very cute. Although I do feel like $28 could get you so much more on Dolls Kill. It is very soft, I must admit. It's very, very soft. And I think that the, the figure is really nice. I love, I love how it cinches in at the waist. 
And I think that it's very flattering at the top too. I think the straps sit in a really nice position. And even though it is a short dress, I don't think it's too short. Look, I know what I said. I said, depending how you style this, it might not end up looking like a nightgown. Well, look, I put it with a pair of sneakers and socks and a backpack, but it's, it still looks like a nightgown. <laughs> I think that I'll just have to keep this one on at home and not worry about wearing it out. It's a little bit short, like I said, very, very short. The shape is flattering, but not flattering enough to convince me that I should wear this to the shops or wear it to the movies or wear it to dinner or wear it anywhere where I might be seen by anyone other than Daniel. Next up, I have something insane. It's a pair of shoes. It's a beautiful pair of shoes. It's a slightly crazy pair of shoes, an expensive pair of shoes. I'm so excited to show you these shoes. They are beautiful. Look at these. I think these are the most perfect boots I've seen in my entire life. Oh my God, these are nuts. So I'm building up a bit of a crazy dolls kill shoe collection. And these are my favorite, without a doubt, out of every item of Dolls Kill anything that I've ever acquired, whether I've bought it or been given it by Dolls Kill, I think this is my favorite thing. I think they're glorious. Just have a look. Aren't they just the most beautiful, beautiful shoes you've ever seen? They even have doves on them. Oh my god, I just noticed. Look. Look at the little dove. The blue is the most beautiful shade of blue and I really, really appreciate that the platform is white. Often I see boots that are really nicely colored but the platform is black. But I'm so glad these have white platforms. Yeah, these are without a doubt my absolute favorite shoes on the planet. I mean, I haven't put them on yet. Maybe my opinion will change once I put them on, but just looking at them at the moment, I think they're perfect. <laughs> okay, so I've just paired this top from the start with this denim skirt that I was given by a store called Honey Bum. That was a, a haul I did a little while ago. And then that's, that's how I styled the boots. I figured because they're kind of like combat boots, it could be nice with a denim skirt. And then having the same print on the top that I have on the shoes ties in really nicely. I think the shoes are incredible. They're really easy to wear. They're very comfy. I feel like they'll be a little bit attention grabbing because they're really interesting and unique. And I'm sure that people are going to love them. I think my friends are going to love them. I think uh, you guys are going to be jealous. <laughs> so tell me down below if you think these are the coolest shoes ever because I certainly do. But yeah, I love this one. I think it's amazing. These, these shoes, oh, they're to die for. Literally, they're angels on the shoes because people die when they see them and they go to heaven. That's why. This next item is exactly the same print as the shoes and also the two-piece set from the start. This is the really, really popular one. I've seen so many influencers on Instagram wearing this. This is probably what started it all. This probably started the hype around the Valentine's Day collection. I think this is one of the first items from the collection that started popping up on Instagram. Now, in the pictures, they paired it with a white, what do you call it, a uh, bralette. But I don't have a white bralette, so I'm, ju I'm just gonna wear a white bra. I hope that doesn't annoy anyone. But uh, yeah, let's pop this one on. Okay, here it is. Uh, Archie is again obsessed with this mesh. Not allowed to do that, mate. This one is so cute. I love that it's a turtleneck. Turtlenecks are one of my favorite things in the world to wear. I also really, really like the long sleeves. I think that it's really, really elegant and very dainty. Archie is obsessed with the sleeves. He's not allowed to touch them. Not allowed. Not, no, not allowed. No. No, you, you just, you, you go up here. That's where you can stay. So because it is mesh, it is completely transparent. You can see straight through it. You know, hopefully you have something in your wardrobe that you can wear. I don't know if I could go out wearing this bra just like this. Let me know what you guys think. Like, it's just a white bra. It's literally just a strapless white bra. So I'm not entirely sure if I could go out wearing that. But this print and the color is so stunning. And I love that it's mesh. It feels really comfortable. It's not an itchy kind of mesh. So really, really nice, very soft mesh. So this one, it's amazing. $28, it's $28, oh my gosh. Okay, this one, this is, I think this is my favorite thing, aside from the shoes. I think this is my favorite thing. $28 is quite a good price for something that's this beautiful. I love it, oh, gotta figure out what I'm gonna style this one with. Um, hmm. On the website, I think that they styled it with some blue shorts. I don't have any shorts like that, so I'll have a dig around in my closet and uh, let's have a look at how I style this. Well, hello there. So uh, you might be wondering why I'm standing in front of a curtain. Well, 
Uh, there's angels on the top and the curtain is the closest thing to clouds that I can find and I can't figure out how to style this So I've just put on high-waisted jeans. I don't know. I don't know whether it, it's a look or not I mean on the website they styled it with like light blue shorts I don't have any light blue shorts or a belt like that either. That's as far as I got with this one So please leave some styling tips down below for how I should style this and uh, I will uh, take your suggestions and then style it appropriately according to one of the comments and I'll put it on Instagram and last but not least is uh, another mesh piece. Now this one, this is a bodysuit. They didn't style it with anything on the website. They, they just wore this with some little patches underneath to cover things. They didn't wear it with pants or anything. So I'll put it on with a skirt. One of the skirts from earlier. I think the one with the love heart buckles because I don't think I'm, I'm not quite there yet. I, I don't think I'm that confident that I could just style it the way that they did on Dolls Kill. These sleeves are insane. Just like the flared pants, they have a huge amount of fabric here. I think that this top is glorious. Glorious. The only problem is that uh, you can see right through it. <laughs> so again, I think I'm gonna have to invest in a really nice pretty white bralette that I can wear underneath these mesh things because that does definitely stop me wearing them in public. Uh, I think that you need to stop what you're doing. What? You don't want to? You want to stay there? Are you coming with me or are you going to stay? What are you doing? You can't just hold on to my hand. You, you either have to let go or come with me. No, that's not how this works. Mummy's working. You can't just hold the top and hold my hand. You pick one. You've got to pick one. So I styled this top with this pink skirt. Now my issue with this top is that the torso, this is a bodysuit, and the torso isn't long enough. Like I really, really struggled to button this up at the bottom. It fits me perfectly around the waist, it fits my arms, it fits around my shoulders, but it's not long enough for my torso. And my concern there is that if I went a size up to try and get a little bit more length in the body, I think that it wouldn't fit me as well around here. So that is a little bit of a complaint on my part. But again, that sort of differs per your body size. So I suppose you have to check the size charts and have a look there. This bodysuit is $30 and I definitely think it's worth it. I think it's magical. I feel very ABBA in this. Just one look and I can hear a bell ring. One more look and I forget everything. Oh, mamma mia, here I go again. So that's it guys, if you liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hope you enjoy your Valentine's Day if you're celebrating it with a significant other, if you're alone hope you enjoy your Netflix and pizza or whatever you end up doing, let me know below, what are you guys going to do for Valentine's Day, if you're single what are you going to do, if you're taken what are you going to do, Dan has told me he's got something planned, I have no idea what it is though, I said to him can I film it because I have a couple of week, I have a couple of week long wear tests that I'm doing at the moment and I, I need to wear an outfit for that video so I said can I wear the outfit on Valentine's Day like where, where are you taking me can I film there and he said it's okay so you guys will probably see our actual Valentine's Day sometime next week yeah let me know below what your plans are if you're in America I think you could probably get these items off Dolls Kill in time for Valentine's Day but if you're international I don't think that you're gonna have a very good chance because the shipping would probably take too long if you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already keep an eye out for my week-long wear tests that are coming up I've got some really really fun ones coming so uh, hit the notification bell and uh, hopefully <coughs> hopefully you won't miss the videos when I upload so with that Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!